no more work permits from inside Canada for visitors. This is a significant change that will impact many who had plans to work while visiting Canada. Hold up, Canada's changing the rules again. If you were hoping to transition from a visitor to a worker without leaving the country, think again. Remember how visitors could snag a work permit while chilling in the Great White North? It was a convenient option for many, especially during the pandemic when travel was restricted. Yeah, those days are over. The new policy means visitors must now apply for work permits from outside Canada. This change is expected to streamline the process, but also adds a layer of complexity for those already in the country. Big news for anyone dreaming of Canadian adventures and a paycheck. If you were planning to explore Canada and work simultaneously, you'll need to rethink your strategy. Let's break it down, eh? The Canadian government has decided to revert to pre-pandemic regulations. This means that visitors must secure a work permit before entering the country if they intend to work during their stay. The rationale behind this change is to ensure that the immigration process remains orderly and manageable. By requiring work permits to be obtained from outside Canada, the government aims to better control the flow of foreign workers. For those already in Canada on a visitor visa, this change could be a major setback. Many had hoped to find employment and transition smoothly into the Canadian workforce. Now, they may need to leave the country and reapply from abroad. This policy shift also affects employers who were relying on visitors to fill job vacancies. They will now need to adjust their hiring strategies and possibly look for candidates who are already authorized to work in Canada. It's a significant adjustment for everyone involved. Visitors must now plan their trips more carefully, ensuring they have the necessary permits before arriving. Employers must navigate the new regulations to find suitable workers. If you're a visitor currently in Canada and hoping to work, it's crucial to stay informed about the latest immigration policies. Consulting with an immigration expert can provide clarity and help you understand your options. The Canadian government has emphasized that this change is part of a broader effort to maintain the integrity of the immigration system. They believe that by requiring work permits to be obtained from outside the country, they can better manage the influx of foreign workers. While this may seem like a setback for many, it's important to remember that the goal is to create a fair and efficient immigration process. By adhering to these new rules, visitors and employers can contribute to a more organized system. So, if you're planning to visit Canada and work, make sure to apply for your work permit before you arrive. Stay updated on the latest regulations and seek professional advice if needed. With the right preparation, you can still achieve your Canadian dreams. Canada remains a land of opportunity, but navigating its immigration policies requires careful planning and awareness. Stay informed, stay prepared, and you can still make the most of your Canadian adventure. That's all for now. Keep an eye on the latest updates and make sure you're ready for your next step in the Great White North. Good luck. What changed for visitor visa holders? Let's dive into the details. As of August 28, 2023, a significant change has taken place in the Canadian immigration policy that affects visitor visa holders. If you're visiting Canada, you can't just decide to apply for a work permit while you're there. This is a major shift from the previous rules. Before, visitors had the flexibility to switch to a work permit if they found a job during their stay. This was a convenient option for many who came to Canada with the hope of exploring job opportunities. Think of it like trying to order pizza after the delivery guy left. You snooze, you lose. This analogy perfectly captures the essence of the new rule. The change aims to streamline the immigration process and ensure that those who come to Canada on a visitor visa adhere strictly to the purpose of their visit. The Canadian government believes that this will help maintain the integrity of the immigration system and better manage the job market. For tourists, this means that their visit should be focused on exploring the beauty and culture of Canada rather than seeking employment. It's crucial for visitors to be aware of this change before planning their trip. Checking the latest immigration policies on the official Canadian immigration website can save a lot of hassle. Travel agents and advisors are also updating their clients about this new rule to ensure that everyone is well informed. While this change might seem restrictive, it encourages visitors to fully immerse themselves in the Canadian experience without the distraction of job hunting. For those who are serious about working in Canada, it's advisable to apply for the appropriate work visa before arriving in the country. The process might be more time-consuming, but it ensures that all applicants meet the necessary criteria and are prepared for their stay. 
job fairs and recruitment events in Canada are still great opportunities for networking and exploring job prospects, but remember, you need the right visa to take the next step. Successfully obtaining a work visa before your trip can make your transition smoother and more rewarding. So, while you're in Canada, enjoy the vibrant cities, the stunning landscapes, and the rich cultural heritage. Make the most of your visit. Remember, the new rule is in place to ensure that everyone has a fair and transparent experience. Stay informed, plan ahead, and enjoy your time in Canada. How does this affect visitors? Well, if you were hoping to pop into Canada and find a job to stay longer, you might need to rethink your plans. The process isn't as straightforward as it once was. Time to rethink your strategy. The days of arriving in Canada and quickly finding a job to extend your stay are becoming a thing of the past. You'll need to apply for a work permit from your home country, which means planning ahead and being prepared for a more complex process. This involves more time and paperwork. Bummer, right? But let's break it down so you know exactly what to expect and how to navigate this new landscape. First, you'll need to research the specific requirements for a work permit. This can vary depending on the type of job you're looking for and your country of origin. It's a good idea to consult with an immigration expert or use official government resources to get accurate information. Once you have all the necessary information, you'll need to fill out an application form, which can usually be done online. Be prepared to provide detailed information about your background, education, and work experience. You'll also need to gather various documents such as your passport, proof of funds, and possibly a job offer from a Canadian employer. Make sure everything is in order before you submit your application. After submitting your application, there's a waiting period. This can be a stressful time, but it's important to be patient. Processing times can vary, so keep an eye on your email for any updates or requests for additional information. If your application is approved, congratulations. You'll receive a work permit that allows you to legally work in Canada. This is a significant achievement and opens up new opportunities for you. Now you can make your travel plans and prepare for your new adventure in Canada. Remember to keep all your documents handy and be ready to present them when you arrive. Upon arrival, you'll go through customs and immigration. Make sure you have all your paperwork in order and be prepared to answer any questions the officers might have. Once you've cleared customs, you're free to start your new life in Canada. Take some time to explore your new surroundings, meet new people, and settle into your new job. Starting a new job in a new country can be challenging, but it's also an exciting opportunity for personal and professional growth. Embrace the experience and make the most of your time in Canada. Don't forget to enjoy the natural beauty and cultural experiences that Canada has to offer. From stunning landscapes to vibrant cities, there's so much to see and do. Building a social network and getting involved in the community can also help you feel more at home. Attend local events, join clubs or groups, and make an effort to connect with others. While the process of getting a work permit might seem daunting, it's worth it in the end. The experiences and opportunities you'll gain in Canada can be life-changing. So, take a deep breath, follow the steps, and get ready for an incredible journey. Canada is waiting for you with open arms. Remember, every challenge is an opportunity in disguise. Good luck and welcome to Canada. What about employers? Canadian businesses used to love this rule. Need workers fast? Just find a visitor who's keen. Now they're back to the old system, proving they can't find a Canadian for the job. More hoops to jump through, less flexibility. Canada's worried about a few things. First, too many temporary residents can strain their resources like healthcare and housing. Second, some sneaky folks were abusing the system. Think fake jobs and exploiting workers. Not cool, man. Canada's government, aka IRCC, is like that friend who always catches you in a lie. They're tightening the screws to stop immigration fraud. Remember those 700 Indian students with fake acceptance letters? Yeah, that's why they're being extra careful now. The Temporary Foreign Worker Program, or TFWP, got a makeover too. They're hitting the brakes on some applications, especially in cities with high unemployment. Gotta give Canadians first dibs on jobs, right? Remember those relaxed rules during COVID? Yeah, those are gone faster than hand sanitizer at a music festival. Canada's going back to the pre-pandemic playbook, folks. Canada's getting serious about managing how many temporary residents they let in. 
They're even including those numbers in their yearly immigration plan. Transparency is key, people. Canada still wants skilled workers, but they're playing it safe. They're all about balance now, welcoming newcomers while looking out for their own citizens. It's like making a killer poutine. Gotta get the right mix of ingredients. Moral of the story? Canadian immigration rules are constantly evolving. Don't just pack your bags and assume you're good to go. Do your research, check the latest updates, and don't rely on your buddy's cousin's friend's advice. So there you have it, folks. Canada's closing the door on easy work permits for visitors. It's a bummer for some, but hey, gotta keep things fair and square. Stay tuned, because when it comes to immigration, Canada's always keeping us on our toes. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos and content.